In this video, we're going to use the ground radar on the Vigan to find targets for the RB-75 okay. Mavericks. Catch inside, I'm above you. So, are we taking the RB... The RB-75Ts? Yep. Yeah, those are the... The newest versions, and they're zoomed in a little more. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Okay, let's make sure you have all the controls. Yep, so I've got uh, the two radar modes, and then I've got the change radar distance. Two radar modes. Do you have it on the three position switch? Yeah. Okay, so then you have three radar modes. Good. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, one of them's off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you'll need A zero and A one mode. A one mode is the middle position, which you shouldn't have bound because you have it set to three way. Uh, you'll need T one fix, TV yep. fix. Yep. Well, I guess you don't need that, but if you want to slew a waypoint over the targets you see, you need those. Mm-hmm. And then again, if you want to slew a waypoint over a target, you need your radar stick up, down, left, right. Mm -hmm. And you'll also need marker or radar marker gain. And that's basically how sensitive your your radar is. Radar marker gain. Okay. Um... That should be it for controls you need bound. Now I can tell you about the controls in the cockpit that you'll click to get the best stuff going on. Um, so what you'll do is kind of behind the nav ANF, there's a uh, log and lin. Yep. Linear mode is basically down and then whatever log means, I don't know. But uh, it's it's basically turns up the sensitivity is a good way to explain it. Okay. So things will become darker. And because of that, you can adjust your marker brightness mm -hmm. to be very light but then hard context will appear even darker. So you'll just see like black dots or squares. And uh, that's pretty much all you need there. All right. So just turn your radar on so it's sweeping. Mm -hmm. We'll get started. So how do you turn the brightness down on the radar? Is there a way? I know there's a knob on yep, the side so... that seems to only turn it red. Oh, that's a night mode. Yeah, you don't want that. So the brightness... Yeah is to the left near your hip. It's a small little rotary dial and it says radar. Well, for me, it says radar bright. It's a single oh, thing by itself radar. there. Yep. So your floodlights and your instrument lights are behind that as well. Okay. And then your Mavericks are to the left. Those two little things on this vertical panel there. Mm -hmm. They don't have any names next to it near that grayed EP out box. 13. Yeah, EP13. Yep, so that's how you adjust the contrast and the brightness of your uh, Mavericks. Okay. All right, and on the weapon stores, we've got selected RB-75. I assume you already have this because we've been using it before, but you're going to want radar range increase and decrease. Yeah, I've got that. All right, perfect. Obviously, you're not going to see anything on the radar now, but just turn it to like a default of 30. For scan scanning ground targets, that seems to be the best. And the basic principle is the higher you are, the more you can see because the radar is looking down, obviously. Um, so uh, uh, above 200, ideally, if you're just trying to find targets. All right, ready. Cool. All right, brake set, middle power. And we'll go full burner, three, two, one, release. So obviously you want to know the rough location of your targets, um, yeah. which we know is basically to the west. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to turn around. Mm 
and you should already see it marking the the ground in front of you. You can kind of see the river. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good. And even right now, as you look, if you zoom in at 30, 30 uh, kilometers, you can see dark marks going on. Mm -hmm. So right away, it uh, looks like buildings is what they are, because they're large dark marks. Okay. So let's move it to 60, see if we can see anything. No, we cannot. All right. So let's switch it to linear mode now, and you'll see everything gets darker. So adjust your marker brightness so that the normal background is light, like a light, a lighter green, you know? You still want to see it, but just barely. We're 540 on altitude. Let's go ahead and raise it up a little more here, too. And as you can see, as we rise up, you're starting to see a little bit more, like the river, you can start to see the bends almost reaching up to 60 kilometers away. And there we go, I'm starting to get a dark return. I'm gonna turn towards it, so my radar is pointing right at it. Yep, I see and it. I'm just gonna click autopilot so I can look at the radar. And it looks like we're about 27 clicks out, and those are ground targets yeah, okay. of some sort. So I've got a waypoint here for whatever reason. So if I just go ahead and hit my trigger first stage and then I can move my marker over it and then depress and boom I just made a basically a makeshift target marker that's it we found targets and you can see even more targets just beyond that so so what does moving that waypoint do for me though right now nothing now you just can return back to there without having to okay. like visually look you know and it gives you a distance too. So I know I'm about 10 clicks out, so I'm within range pretty okay. much for these. I'm gonna switch master arm off. My radar shuts off because it's using that. I've got the targets in sight off the nose. Basically, you can think of the uh, putting a waypoint there as a map marker. Mm -hmm. So now if I turn around, I can just fly right back towards the circle and my HUD will direct me towards it as well. So it's always nice to do that, if you can. Yeah, so now while you're flying away, you can see on your compass where the target is. You can see how far away it is off the right. And then, of course, your HUD's telling you basically what direction to turn to get back on it. Yeah, it's just hard because you know that it's going to lock onto dead stuff, too, so... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an IR Mav, and you've got a tiny little TV, so obviously it's not as good as a, a Harrier or anything, but, I mean, just for visual stuff, if you're the first one there or if you know what you're doing, yeah, and you get time behind it, you fire four Mavericks off in four seconds, yeah. you're out of there, and they can't even get a shot on you. Yeah, it seems like you that's also, the better way to use it. Yeah. It's just a, a faster A-10. <laughs> Faster, less armed, and armored A-10. But with this, you could carry your countermeasure pod, and if you if you did want to pre-plan it, you could bring some countermeasures, you could bring two Mavericks, you could pop up, fire some at some SAMs, deploy countermeasures while you're doing that so nothing seeks on you, and get pretty much two confirmed kills. It's hard just because your closure rate is so fast and kind of like the sweet yeah. spot of you can actually see what you're doing, but you better do it now because you're close. But I agree. I think if you if you rolled up on some targets that hadn't been hit before, it's probably easier because then you can just, like you said, ripple off four of them. Yeah. On well, the other thing to note is range too. Like, don't be afraid to get some range on them and fire from just over 10 kilometers away. And you can go as slow as you want, too, obviously. I mean, yeah, yeah. put on the uh, attitude hold, bring her down slow, and then fire them off, hit the burners, go low, and away you go. 